Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, guys. That's how we start the video, just hi. <laughs> Yo. Brick Maniacs. Welcome back to another Brick Mania Designer's Desk video. I'm here with Slam. My name is Andreas. Yeah. And we're going to talk about Space Rocket. Andreas, do you like space? I like space somewhat, but I love classic space more. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, what I found about space in general is that it's constantly trying to kill you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's in really any way possible. inhospitable yeah. to humans. So let's talk about this kid. Okay, I was gonna, I was gonna <laughs> dive deep into that, like all the ways that space is actively trying to kill you. Um, never mind. Oh, let's talk about this kid. This is cool. Yeah. I mean, there was a time in the late 70s uh, where Lego started to uh, go into themes for their kids. Before mm -hmm. that, everything was more generic and simple building. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of them were space. So that era is really... It's the golden age of Lego as far oh, as I'm concerned. Definitely. Those early space kits. Oh, yeah. Just beautiful. I mean, that's kind of the charm that I'm trying to capture with this kit. Mm -hmm. uh, where less is more, uh, more simplistic, basic colors, just to really, you know, bring that feeling of, you know, a so, fantasy space setting. So instead of gray and blue, you've gone with gray. Dark orange, orange. Because, you know, this is a Brick Mania kit. We're trying to mm -hmm. make it pop. It's more earth tones in a way, mm -hmm. uh, but also color that I, I really love. I don't really get to use dark orange a lot, so it's fun to put in there whenever I can. Um, so it's trying to be a combination more of like the classic Lego style as well as using some more modern colors and techniques uh, for this. So I mean, I just, I just love this. This is so much fun. Um, in your space collection, you might run out of space. That's why I built it. So. You can Ooh, store it you sideways. Can, or you can vertic vertically launch. Yeah. If you happen to have a moon, moon base launch pad. Yeah. Which I do. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's in pieces. Yeah. Um, but yes. So if you store it sideways, you got space for my space kits. Nice. Yeah. Nicely done. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun trying to get this engine detail, these sort of fins going mm -hmm. down at the back. Uh, you have some more armament that is more typical of Brick Mania. Mm -hmm kits than a lego kit i guess yeah what kind of what kind of weapons does it come with oh it does come with a perfect caliber also oh <laughs> but, but you, you mean there's there's like some there's some disruptors here uh, some pulse emitters some yeah. laser lasers of course okay yeah but we also have a perfect caliber that i am so happy about that we could finally do a classic ray gun because that has for the longest time been one of my favorite brick mania Brick arms. Brick arms mm -hmm. uh, weapons. It's one of the first ones that ever came out of brick arms, actually. So actually getting the perfect caliber, that is so much fun. And Take us through it. Yeah, so uh, I gave it that classic red space <laughs> um, <laughs> ray gun look. Um, and it's a bronze gun. Bronze is the base yeah. plastic color. Yeah. So leaving that plastic exposed on a lot of it. I think just really, really has this classy look to it. Yeah. Put a couple of green indicators down the side. Yeah. I mean, not a lot of details, but I think it turned out super, super well. Yeah. And perfect also for shooting zombies if you're... Uh, if you happen to run into zombies if you're in a zombie space fan. or down below here. Or in World War II, I or, guess. Hmm. Any, any place you find zombies, a ray gun's a really good choice for, for defensive weaponry. For sure. Uh, you also designed a figure for this. Yeah. Um, which is fun. <laughs> which is one of the easiest figure designs that I've ever had to do. Um, and even the logo, this is, this is a logo that we were putting on our, our space themed kits uh, five years ago. So this is one of the first things I designed, yeah. designed for Brick Mania when, yeah. I, when I started here, was that logo. And it was really neat to put it on a, uh, a spaceman. Yeah. And Amanda, of course, updated the Spaceman air tank yeah. with uh, an actual jet pack. It's a really nice 3D, That's 3D print. Oh, but back to the figure, he does have two faces. Yeah. So we have the, the not, so, not so happy screaming face 
um, kind because, of Benny, again, spa- screaming Benny. Yeah, again, of. space is actively trying to kill you. Yeah. So this is how you the might no react to that. no pupil look. And then on this side, we have our 2001, oh my God, it's full of stars face, which is a Lego yeah. face I've wanted to do for a long time. Yeah, I mean, totally Odyssey looking, so much fun. Lego has made all different colors spacemen, but they never made a dark gray spaceman. There's not even a dark gray backpack. So, huh. so now we have a dark gray spaceman for the first time. You can complete your troop. Yeah, I'm very happy to, to be able to put mm. that out there. Uh, the helmet is from Lego, but you know, for the, for the torso, of course, you could print every single spacesuit detail, but I mm-hmm. feel like for a kit like this, it's what you don't put on there that really shows the value, that it's like really beautifully made, just simplistic, classy look. And of course we have the same Brickmania space logo here. Yeah. And then the only other printed part on this is this targeting mechanism right here in the front, yeah. which is, I thought, a really fun little thing to make. Yeah, beautifully made, so much fun. And then we've also played with our packaging a little bit. I mean, that was something I really wanted to push was not a gray box for this because it's not a it is a great kit, but not in not in the feeling, not in the emotion. It's not a great kit. It's more of playful. It's, it's more fun. classic colors. Yep. Yeah. So one of more. This is the most colorful box we've made. Yeah. For one of our kits for a long time. Yeah. Beautiful action shot by camera guy. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, look at these colors. It's just so much fun. Beautiful <laughs> space rocket, space rocket, space rocket. Beautiful text, beautiful color. This design is made by Chelsea, our in-house graphic designer. Mm-hmm. So thank you for making that possible. Uh, the instruction also has a different color. It's a fun, fun little detail. The box okay. is way too big, but I didn't want to do a clamshell, so. <laughs> okay. I mean, a clamshell would not have looked as nice. Okay. I mean, I'm, I bought this one, and I'm probably just going to put the box on my shelf because it's such a beautiful looking box. It's a great artifact. Yeah. yeah. Well, nice work on the spaceship. Thank you. I mean, it's simple, but that's kind of what we're going for. If, it, if we made a super hyper-realistic spaceship, it wouldn't have captured the same feeling uh, that we're going for, the 80s simplistic style and look. Well, this is a good start. Yeah. Uh, we've opened the door for additional classic space kits down the road. Yeah. So leave tons of comments down below if you'd like to see us see what we do next on yeah. that and how soon you'd like to see us do it. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it's a rare chance that we get to do something that is not necessarily military or, you know, really out there in the fantasy and space stuff. So if, if you mm. want to see more of it, make sure you let us know. Also, you know, supporting the kit. Uh, leaving comments. Yeah, um, yeah. Cool. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you next time on Brickmania Designer Studio.